Thank you for joining me this evening on We Need to Talk. My name is Israel Anderson. It is January 20th, 2017. Donald J. Trump has just been sworn in as the 45th President of the United States and Mike Pence as the 48th Vice President of these United States. Well, it is the last few days of our major promotion for uh, Big Dipper Cookie Dough Company. And you can go to the Facebook page and you will find a pinned post. And there you can read how you can win six pints of the most amazing cookie dough. Uh, Austin Grozier, who is the CEO, uh, founder of this incredible company, 21 years old, Ron Paul supporter, uh, sent me six pints. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with six pints. Um, because you only need a little bit, let me tell you. I uh, got it yesterday. Very good stuff. But go on to the Facebook page, and there you can see how you can win six pints delivered to your door in a wonderful foam insulated box. Uh, comes to your door just fine. Go and see how you can do that. It's created a lot of attention this week. It's a great prize. Well, Trump has been sworn in, and he delivered an incredible speech. If you've not listened to that speech yet, it's only 20 minutes long. It's actually a little bit shorter than 20 minutes, I think about 18 minutes. Really encourage you to go and listen to the speech. Remember, he's not campaigning anymore. He's not trying to win your vote. He's now speaking truth to power. And there on the steps, steps of the Capitol building, looking out to the, uh, I'm guessing about one, one and a half million people that uh, were there, he reiterated this message that he'd been speaking on the campaign trail. And I'll sum it up in this one tweet that he had, uh, that he posted, which was a snippet from the speech where he said, January 20th, 2017 will be remembered as the day the people became the rulers of this nation again. He said another one here. Let me read this one as well. What truly matters is not which party controls our government, but whether our government is controlled by the people. Now, people have criticized me, left, right, center, for Donald Trump just saying nice things about Donald Trump and predicting that he would win. I was caught a lunatic. I was caught crazy. But the day has come. Here he is. And let me give you some further predictions. I'll unpack what he's going to do in the next few days. Uh, and, um, you know, if you're cynical, I'm sorry. You know, cynicism is the Dead Sea. It's just nothing lives there, right? Uh, I would encourage you to release your cynicism. And uh, I posted on Facebook earlier. I hope it doesn't sound too arrogant, but it is what it is. I've gotten everything right so far. So trust what I have to say going forward until I get it wrong. Is that not fair? I, I mean, I, is that not fair? I, I don't know. Um, what's going to happen now? We're going to see that he's already today signed an executive order uh, that is a regulatory freeze. Every uh, federal regulatory agency as of right now is absolutely in a regulatory freeze. They cannot introduce any new regulations. This is great. I've got a friend in Dallas who sells Kratom, which I don't know, it's some south american plan i've never seen it in person i've certainly never used it uh it seems pretty innocuous it's, it's not a big deal but it's something like coffee uh but the dea wanted to make that uh a schedule one drug now i have no experience with it so maybe it deserves to be schedule one i don't know but i tell you the kratom people are going to be very happy right now because the dea is now unable to introduce any regulations on Kratom, which is phenomenal. Now, remember that part of Donald Trump's platform is removing two federal regulations for every new federal regulation to be introduced. Canada did something like that a couple of weeks ago, but theirs is only one for one. For every new, every new federal regulation, they must remove one. Trump you must remove two for every new federal regulation. Also signed in an executive order today is a memo to all federal agencies to immediately do whatever they can to reduce the burden of Obamacare on people's lives. So in his very first day, action has been taken. Now, moving forward, we're going to see a phenomenal pace 
And these people I'm seeing it all over Facebook today. Oh, the old boss, uh, new boss, just like the old boss. Nothing's going to change. It's all going to be the same. You know, people still telling me I'm full of shit. And it's like, dude, I've been getting this right for a long time. Uh, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a pace of speed of change in America and the federal government that is going to leave you speechless. This has been his M.O. in business his entire life. Why would it be any different in government? It's not that I'm, you know, that super smart. It's just that, hey, I got to know the guy. I mean, I, I spent a ton of time reading everything I could on the guy, bought all his books, bought all the biographies on him. I've devoured them all. I've done so much research. Um, and of course, I've read all of the same books he's been reading for you know 25 years of my life as a serial entrepreneur. And I got in his head. I understood how he works a little bit. Now, I've never met the guy in person. I look forward to that, though. And when you get in someone's head, then you get a little bit more clarity than the average Joe. And when I look at what he's done in business, it's pretty simple to extrapolate that over to what he's going to do as the president of the United States. And some would argue, well, it's a little bit different. Of course it's different. But you don't think, I mean, here's a guy that, I mean, under budget, under under time, under schedule. I mean, this is his, his mantra that he lives by, right? Uh, ahead of schedule, under budget. And that is how the United States government is going to be run. And so, oh, it might not be a libertarian government, but... Hey, look at what Ron Paul posted earlier today. Go and look on Ron Paul's Facebook page and you'll see what I was saying yesterday. Even Ron Paul is starting to come around. There's a lot of differences between the two, but there are a lot of similarities. And one thing that a lot of people don't like to admit is that, you know, when I was campaigning for Ron Paul in 2007-8, I was handing out brochures talking about how we were going to secure the border. And it's, I've actually got the brochure around here somewhere. I've, I've got a photo I've shown it many times. I've posted it on my Facebook where Ron Paul said, secure the border no matter what the cost or something to that effect. Physically secure the border. And it was straight and narrow. No more talking. This is what needs to be done. Now, Whatever happened in 2011-12 where suddenly Ron Paul became against securing the border, I, I don't know. <laughs> but, but I'm telling you that's what the case was in 2007-8. There's a striking lot of similarities between the two, more so in foreign policy than anything else. Foreign policy, Ron Paul and Donald Trump are almost identical. Um, you know, people say, well, he wants to expand the military. So did Ron Paul. And I think a lot of you just don't really know Ron Paul that well. Maybe you just joined the Liberty Movement recently and you don't really have a good understanding of Ron Paul's presidential platform. Um, you know, I, I, I was a full timer in, in two elections for Dr. Paul. So I know the platform inside out. And uh, they're very, very strikingly similar. Um, and of course, people always, you know, they didn't like that when I said that yesterday, so they downvoted me. Oh, well, tough luck. So these executive actions are great. Uh, I think it's fantastic that something has already been done. And what else have I got for you? Oh, police arrested today one of the activists that was highlighted in James O'Keefe's video that was exposing these guys for wanting to put a terrible acid stink bomb in, in the deplorable and things like this. Uh, well, one of these guys uh, just is breaking news. He's just been arrested by police out on the streets of D.C., I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, or actually, it doesn't, doesn't actually say that. So he could have just gone and been arrested because that is conspiracy um, to commit a felony. Um, and there was an overt action as part of that. They went and bought tickets to get into the ball. So... Uh, they're in pretty serious trouble. So that's all I've got for you today. It's an exciting day. I'm very, very happy as an immigrant from New Zealand. I am so excited to be living, to have the privilege of being able to live in this country and to see a, a, an entrepreneur, a capitalist as the president of these United States. And buckle your seat belts, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. Uh, this is going to be the fastest change in government you've ever seen a rolling back of regulations that is going to take your breath away and if you doubt me then just keep your eyes open because you're about to see it all have a fantastic night don't forget 
Big Dipper Dough Company is giving away six freaking pints of edible cookie dough. It's egg free. Um, it's totally safe. They use a pasteurized flour so you can eat it raw. And if you go onto their website, you can also find instructions on how to bake it into cookies. So uh, go on to the website. Uh, sorry, where well, you can find the page from my website, israelanderson.com, or you can go to facebook.com slash israelandersonofficial and go there, see the pinned post, and learn how you can do it simply by engaging with the page. All right? Have a fantastic night, and I will see you tomorrow on We Need to Talk.